stormwater runoff, pollution, and erosion all contribute to the need for stream restoration. When it rains, most of the rainwater flows from paved surfaces into storm drain inlets like this one. Trash or other items discarded or blown onto neighborhood streets and parking lots end up in these storm drain inlets and get carried along with stormwater runoff through underground pipes into the nearest stream. All that stormwater runoff and trash ends up here. Trash has become a big problem for the stream and wildlife. And it's also an ugly sight in our community. We all have to do our part if we want to eliminate trash in our community streams and the environment. Pipe stormwater runoff arrives at the stream very quickly and is a major cause of stream erosion. Erosion occurs when water washes away the stream banks and stream bottom. Stormwater runoff and eroded soil carry lots of pollutants, including nitrogen and phosphorus, found in items like pet waste and fertilizer. Excessive amounts of these pollutants lead to algae blooms, fish kills, and unhealthy conditions in our waterways and the Chesapeake Bay. Many public sewer system pipes are located near streams, but they do not drain into them. However, stream erosion can wash away enough dirt to expose our sewer pipes and manholes, putting them at high risk for breaking and spilling sewage into our streams, which pollutes our waterways and requires costly repairs. Baltimore County has made great progress in maintaining our sewer systems, and stream restoration is one important tool in providing long-term protection from erosion exposing more sewer infrastructure. Some neighborhood streams may have been small enough to jump across at one time, but now they may be too wide and too deep. That's because of erosion. When a stream erodes, storm flows can no longer spread out on the floodplain. A floodplain is an important area for a stream. It provides a lower, wider, and usually flatter area where the stream flow can spread out during heavier rains. Slow moving water and vegetation in the floodplains help remove sediment and absorb pollutants, which improves water quality. When storm flows can't spread across the floodplain, the water stays within the stream banks, and the power of the water causes erosion to worsen. Floodplain reconnection is accomplished by grading the floodplain down to a lower elevation. When the stream flows spread out, private properties are in less danger of flooding than they were before, even though the water will appear to be closer. In some locations, there is not enough space to recreate a full floodplain, so other options are used to improve streams. Streams in our suburban communities have many challenges working against them. Utilities and other infrastructure that support our daily life can limit the space available for streams. In these instances, a natural channel design approach is used. The stream is graded to adjust the location, dimensions, and bank angles. Stone structures are added to direct stream flows and protect stream banks. This approach tries to keep the variability of a natural stream by including riffles and pool features that improve stream habitat and ecology. Finally, planting native trees and shrubs helps to reestablish a healthy riparian buffer. Baltimore County identifies and prioritizes the most severely degraded streams and determines the best design approach for restoration. Being aware of where trash goes, cleaning up after pets, and proper use and disposal of household items, such as fertilizer and motor oil, all go a long way towards protecting our streams. This, along with Baltimore County stream restoration efforts and other water quality improvement projects, can create a healthier environment in our communities. Baltimore County is making our streams healthier while meeting federal, state, and regional requirements. During the construction phase, you may notice some changes around the stream project areas. Heavy equipment like excavators remove large amounts of dirt to lower the floodplain. Large stones are moved and placed in the stream with precision. Some residents will observe traffic from trucks hauling materials to and from the site. High visibility safety fencing will be installed along the perimeter of the work areas. The duration of construction will vary, but it is usually complete within six to nine months, depending on the size of the project. During construction, some existing trees may need to be removed. 
trees are inventory to note the size, health, and their condition before any decisions are made regarding removal. Large mature trees and trees along the edges of private property are protected to the greatest extent possible. When finished, the site is planted with trees and shrubs native to Maryland to provide a healthy stream buffer. It may sound noisy and look messy, but the end product is designed to look very natural, especially after a few growing seasons. Once construction is complete, wildflower seeds are planted to provide a natural appearance that will attract desirable wildlife. Neighbors will see a natural balanced ecosystem instead of an impaired urban stream. Mosquito population will likely be reduced because the stream is properly flowing again, and the bird population will be more attracted to the site. A local birder has been documenting the variety of species restored sites have attracted, such as bluebirds, pileated woodpeckers, and yellow-crowned night herons. These natural areas within our community are a benefit to all, providing a balance to the busy life around us. Healthy waters in our neighborhood streams also lead to healthy waters in the Baltimore Harbor and Chesapeake Bay. Thank you for tuning in to learn about these important environmental processes and projects. If you would like specific information regarding the stream restoration proposed for your neighborhood, please contact us. We look forward to speaking with you.